Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. 1 John 1 verses 6 to 7 If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. James 5 verse 12 But above all, my brothers, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Matthew 5 verse 37 Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Proverbs 11 verse 1 A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Proverbs 21 verse 3 To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Psalm 24 verses 3 to 4 Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. Proverbs 28 verse 6 Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. Proverbs 13 verse 5 the righteous hates falsehood, but the wicked brings shame and disgrace. Proverbs 15 verse 4 A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Zechariah 8 verse 16 These are the things that you shall do, speak the truth to one another, render in your gates judgments that are true and make for peace. Proverbs 10 verse 9 Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. Psalm 51 verse 6 Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Proverbs 22 verse 1 A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 21 For we aim at what is honorable not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of man. Proverbs 16 verse 13 Righteous lips are the delight of a king, and he loves him who speaks what is right. Ephesians 4 verse 15 Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Proverbs 20 verse 28 Steadfast love and faithfulness preserve the king, and by steadfast love his throne is upheld. Leviticus 19 verse 11 You shall not steal, you shall not deal falsely, you shall not lie to one another. Proverbs 4 verse 24 Put away from you crooked speech, and put devious talk far from you. Colossians 3 verse 8 But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, 
and obscene talk from your mouth. Proverbs 12 verse 17 Whoever speaks the truth gives honest evidence, but a false witness utters deceit. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Proverbs 14 verse 5 A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. Colossians 3 verses 9 to 10. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. 1 Timothy 1 verse 5. The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Proverbs 19 verse 9 A false witness will not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies will perish. 1 Peter 2 verses 1 to 2 So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation. James 1 verse 26 If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Proverbs 21 verse 28 A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. Titus 2 verses 7 to 8 Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be condemned, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say about us. 1 John 3 verse 18 Little children, let us not love in word or talk but in deed and in truth. Matthew 15 verse 18 But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. Proverbs 16 verse 11 A just balance and scales are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. James 4 verse 17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Proverbs 8 verse 7 For my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 6 That no one transgress and wrong his brother in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. Proverbs 19 verse 22 what is desired in a man is steadfast love, and a poor man is better than a liar. Romans 12 verse 9 Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Proverbs 22 verse 11 He who loves purity of heart, and whose speech is gracious, will have the king as his friend. Ephesians 5 verse 9 For the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 10 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, either the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, 
nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Proverbs 15 verse 28 The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Colossians 4 verse 6 Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Proverbs 24 verse 26 Whoever gives an honest answer kisses the lips. 1 Timothy 3 verse 8 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. Proverbs 10 verse 20 The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, the heart of the wicked is of little worth. 2 Corinthians 8 verses 20 to 21 We take this course so that no one should blame us about this generous gift that is being administered by us. For we aim at what is honorable not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of man. Psalm 34 verse 13 Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Titus 1 verses 7 to 8 For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Proverbs 15 verse 2 The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouths of fools pour out folly. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Ephesians 4 verse 31 Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Proverbs 17 verse 4 An evildoer listens to wicked lips, and a liar gives ear to a mischievous tongue. James 3 verse 14 But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Proverbs 26 verse 28 A lying tongue hates its victims, and a flattering mouth works ruin. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3 But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived you by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. Proverbs 12 verse 19 Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. 1 Timothy 6 verse 5 And constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Proverbs 26 verses 23 to 28 like the glaze covering an earthen vessel are fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 8 I say this not as a command, 
but to prove by the earnestness of others that your love also is genuine. Proverbs 20 verse 15 There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Proverbs 28 verse 23 Whoever rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. Matthew 15 verse 11 It is not what goes into the mouth that defile a person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a person. Titus 2 verse 10 Not pilfering, but showing all good faith so that in everything they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior. Proverbs 28 verse 18 Whoever walks in integrity will be delivered, but he who is crooked in his ways will suddenly fall. Titus 2 verse 3 Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. Proverbs 12 verse 22 Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. Titus 1 verse 16 They profess to know God, but they deny him by their works. They are detestable, disobedient, unfit for any good work. Proverbs 15 verse 7 The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the hearts of fools. 1 Peter 1 verse 22 Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Proverbs 11 verse 11 By the blessing of the upright a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked it is overthrown. James 1 verse 19 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 21 verse 6 The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Proverbs 17 verse 20 A man of crooked heart does not discover good, and one with a dishonest tongue falls into calamity. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 but in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. Proverbs 16 verse 10 An oracle is on the lips of a king, his mouth does not sin in judgment. 1 Peter 2 verse 12 Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Proverbs 16 verse 21 The wise of heart is called discerning, and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. 1 John 2 verse 4 Whoever says I know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Proverbs 10 verse 11 The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. 
Proverbs 10 verse 32. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, what is perverse. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 2. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons, through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. Proverbs 22 verse 12 The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the traitor.